this video, we're going to have a look at creating our walls below ground and also the foundations themselves. I'm first of all going to go across to my foundation floor plan. But as you can see, I can see quite a lot of what's above it on the ground floor. Therefore, I'm going to make sure I haven't got anything selected and then look in the properties of the view. And if you scroll down to extents and view range and click edit, I'm now going to change the two dimensions here to 300. So it will only be showing us what's 300 millimeters above the foundation level. And as we can see, these two load bearing walls are the ones that have come down through, but this doesn't overly help us with drawing our walls downstairs. So going back into our properties, if we go up a little bit to underlay, and then I can put ground floor as an underlay, and now it just shows it as a nice faint outline, which is much easier for us to work with. Let's now draw our wall. So similar to what we did with the external walls, wall architectural, I'm going to select the wall construction that I've used previously. So I just want to scroll through and find that. Here it is. This means I'll have a wall that's the overall correct thickness. I'm going to edit type and duplicate. And I'm going to just tweak the name here and And then edit the structure. I'm going to change the thickness of those to 100 millimeters, so 100. Change it from common bricks to a um, okay, we'll go for block and see what we get with blocks. There we go. So masonry units, high density for below ground. Click OK. And the same on this one. Instead of low density, high density. For this, I'm going to just delete that row and delete that row. And then for this thermal air layer, I'm going to change that to a structure layer. I'm going to change it to concrete. And it'll be cast in situ. There we go. And that's going to be 150. Um, in fact, I'll make it 152. Just to sort of make up for the two mil we lost on the brickwork. Okay. And now we've got to check our heights. Okay. So we can see location line, finish face exterior. That's the one I want. And we have base constraint foundation. And uh, we don't want it to be minus 150 though. So I'm gonna change that to zero top constraint is ground floor but that does need to be minus 150 to match what we did with the external walls of the building and then we are ready to draw the external walls 
So remember to go in a clockwise direction. Okay. And then we can press escape twice to get out of that. Let's have a look at it in 3D. So there we can see our ground, our walls below ground. Now we want to add the foundations to them. So we need to go to the structure tab. And then if we go across to this little section where it's got foundation, we've got three types, isolated wall and slab, and we want the wall. Now we're going to, there's only one option here, the standard one. So we'll click edit type. And we can see it's got dimensions here, 750 wide, 275 mil thick. Now that's great for the external walls, but for the internal load bearing walls, that's a bit too wide. So I'm going to reduce that. I'm going to duplicate this and call it 500 by 275 and say OK. And then I'm going to change that to 500 and say OK. So now I'm just going to rotate this around a little bit. And as we point at this wall and click, it now just drops the foundation along the wall. Then I'll swap to the standard foundation and do the same on these external walls. Just make sure you're pointing at the bottom end. You don't want to accidentally point at the wall above. And there we go. We now have added our walls below ground and our concrete strip foundations.